percent short of a dollar the show where we give our two cents and keep it 100 we're your host that's motiz and i'm rue we just had an exciting weekend of boxing but twitter is taking the headlines again so shakur stevenson you know claims that he retired you know and then shortly after he gets into like a twitter you know back and forth with ryan garcia it's been a lot of that but it's been a lot of that with shakur and the 140 pounders people that aren't at his division um but you know if i can just kick it over to you what do you think has shakur upset that's forced him to say he's retiring i believe this follows the events of navarate fighting someone else at 135 i'm not sure exactly uh who specifically his new opponent is but i know he called out navarate he said he wants that fight next Mm -hmm. And I guess his team decided to go in another direction at the 135 pound division. And I think that kind of just set him spiraling because I think from his perspective, he tried to fight Pitbull Cruz. They don't want to give him that fight. He tried to fight Loma. Loma decided to go into another direction with Cambosis. And then he said he wants the Navarrete fight. So it does, it, it looks like he's not getting the fight he wants. And he's just throwing a tantrum, to be honest. Sometimes mm -hmm. though, but I think he needs to come down to reality and just understand that. Things may not go your way. If nobody wants to fight you, then it is what it is. Now, I don't know if this is a publicity stunt, but what I do know is it's, it's it looks like it's a a trend of not him getting what he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I caught some wind of the the Navarrete thing too, which I was actually shocked about because remember I thought they was gonna elevate Loma to get that belt, but obviously they're gonna have two people fight for the vacant belt. Loma's gonna fight Cambosis for the other belt. Um, so I do I, I agree with you. I think it's a combination of both, and almost like you said, almost being like kind of spoiled, not getting what he wants. But you know, it's a business, and I mean, top rank. You know, I don't know. Some people have success there. Some people have gripes there. You know what I mean? But I do, I do think. You know, like Shakur has to come to the realization it's deeper than just saying, I want to fight that person. You really have to sit down and negotiate, you know, get your team to negotiate these these fights. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's just saying, I want to fight that person. And then when things don't come to fruition and it's just like, oh, my God, you know, I can't get the fights. I can't get the fights. However, I think Shakur needs to go ahead and just, you know, rematch. Um, what's my man named? De Los Santos, Edwin De Los Santos. Um, because it was just a, it was just like a poor showing, you know what I'm saying? And you you won the title off of it, but I do think it was a poor showing. And if you can't get, you know, any other fights, show people that that's not that's not really you. You know, show them the real Shakur Stevenson, and then go in there and put on a better performance. You know, and get them out of there. Not necessarily. I don't mean you have to stop them, but just show them that your levels ahead. Because you know, as we talk about a lot, we're just not really sure who won that fight. Honestly, I feel like I feel like they both should have just got a lost draw like you know what I'm saying? like i never i know there's no such thing but i mean it was such a bad draw that i think they both should have got lost <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah that fight definitely could have been a draw I, I can't even tell who won but that's a good point you know he definitely should and that's the thing that this is why it's funny how the new school fighters they consider themselves to be have an old soul right or be like the old school fighters but and as much flack as people give to floyd floyd still had that old school mentality if a fight was close he was going to run it back mm -hmm. right so and, and in the case of Ben Shakur stevenson who claims to be a throwback fighter you feel like if th these are close fights based off of we all have eyes we all have brains then run it back right show that you know i am the better fighter by making it not even close right and then yeah. if you're claiming that you were injured I think that's the perfect opportunity to prove to people that you are Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. And it's like, honestly, what's, what's retiring going to do? Like, if you really that mad about it and, you know, go, go up to 40, go, go, go up to 40 where the, where the guys are at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Devin, yeah. Devin's has the title. Tio has the title. Uh, I'm going to get into the Ryan Garcia in a second, you know, go up to 40, you know what I'm saying? And go, go fight those guys, you know, and then, but him and Ryan got into it, right? I know you saw a little bit of it, but what was crazy though, is and I'm not going to lie, Ryan is kind of good with the back and forth because even in the Javante press conference, I thought Ryan, you know, Ryan might have edged him out a little bit, but Ryan, I think he ethered Shakur with the, yo, bro, like after a tough performance, you know what I did? I, you know, I bounced back, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you retired because you letting Twitter bully you. When I saw that, I was like, damn, bro. Like, he ethered him off that one. Yeah, yeah. The the smack talk of uh, Ryan is clever with his, with his, with his, with his witty uh, comebacks. I'll say that. And, and it'd be quick. So, yeah. um, you know, but like you mentioned, 
may, maybe he's trying to follow the precedence of uh, or follow the trend of like T.O., right? Let me re- say I'm retired. People's going to miss me. Then I come back. People's going to, you know, you know, give me a hug and be like, oh, it's welcome to be back and give me more. I, I'm not sure if that also plays a role, but I can guarantee you this, though. He's not going to say retired law. No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, I, I think he'll get a fight. I, I don't, it might not be this De Los Santos rematch, but he'll get a fight. And I do think they're trying to line up unification bouts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I eventually I do think him and Loma will unify. They they might want the belts to be collected. They might want that fight to be undisputed. But, you know, which is – I would still watch that fight. I'm just – one thing I would say, though, is, you know, just be careful what you ask for because, you know, Devin thought it was sweet as well. And whether you think Devin won or you think Loma won, it was a hard fight, right? So, you know, I think I think Shakur thinks Loma's sweet. Like, y'all might just go in there, do this to Loma, do that to Loma. And I just don't know if that's the case. You know what I mean? Yeah, I 100% agree. Loma's still a deadly opponent. You know, um, age clearly, you know, doesn't seem to be slowing him down, at least to a degree, right? Um, you can argue it is, but he's still a deadly op- or, or formidable opponent for most of these uh, 135 pounders for sure. So, you know, and, and I'm going to stop. When these fighters start saying, oh, they retired, until you relinquish the belt and actually go into retirement, I'm not going to take it as such. Yeah, As long yeah, as you yeah. hold the belt, you're not retired. You know, yeah, it's really it's really just a temper tantrum. Like you just don't you just don't a temper tantrum. You know what I'm saying? But I think what he has one fight left on the top rank deal. Let's see if his top rank holding him back. Let's see what it is. You know, because, yeah. you know, I don't want to go too deep into that because we don't everyone has dived into that for years. But, you know, like Bud said, it was top rank holding him back. Bob Aram said, no, you're hard to work with. The Spence fight got made, but apparently, you know, they still said he was hard to work with and it was going to fall through. Spence didn't just say, you know, like, just give him everything he wants. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. what if Shakur is like similar where it's just like, yo, the things he's asking for are just, you know, very difficult. Or like I said, I feel like he's just going on Twitter and just saying like, I want to fight that person, but it has to be more effort from, you know, your management team connecting with other teams to negotiate these things. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. Yeah. So definitely jump in the comment section. Um, of course, before you do that, like and subscribe. But do you think Shakur is going to stay retired? Do you think this is just a temper tantrum? <laughs> is he being like a spoiled little kid? Or, you know, Keyshawn Davis said, you know, it's, it's the real thing. So tell us what you think about Shakur's retirement. Um, what would you do in this situation? Would you say, okay, I'm not getting the fight, the so quote unquote fights I want? Would you try to go to another division or would you retire as well? <laughs>